Hi guys, welcome to another audio video in Dabba reading Daniel 3 of the King James Version Bible and it reads Nebuchadnezzar the king made an image of gold whose height was three score cubits and the breadth thereof six cubits he set it up in the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon then Nebuchadnezzar the king sent to gather together the princes the governors and the captains, the judges and the treasure, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs and all the rulers of the provinces to come to the dedication of the image which Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Then the princes, the governors, the captains and captains, the judges, the treasurers, the counselors, the sheriffs and all the rulers of the provinces were gathered together unto the de- unto the dedication of the image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up, and they stood before the image that Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then an herald cried aloud, To you it is commanded, O people, nations, and languages, that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbot, psaltery, dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king hath set up, and whoso falleth not down and worshippeth shall the same hour be cast into the midst of a fire of a burning fire furnace. Therefore, at that time when all the people heard the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbath, psaltery, and all kinds of music, all the people, the nations, and the languages fell down and worshipped the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar the king had set up. Wherefore, at that time, certain Chaldeans came near and accused the Jews. They spake and said to the king, Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. Thou, O king, hast made a decree that every man that shall hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbath, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music shall fall down and worship the golden image. And whoso falleth not down and worshippeth, that he should, should be cast into the midst of a burning fiery furnace. There are certain Jews whom thou hast set over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men O king, have not regarded thee. They serve not thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in his rage and fury, commanded to bring Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then they brought these men before the king, Nebuchadnezzar, speak, and said unto them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego? Do not ye serve my gods, nor worship the golden image which I have set up? Now, if ye be ready, that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, flute, harp, sackbath, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image which I have made well, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast the same hour into the midst of a burning fiery furnace, and who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this matter. It is, if it be so, or God, whom we serve, is able to, del- to deliver us from the burning fire furnace, and he will deliver us out of thine hand, O king. But if not, Be it known unto thee, O king, that we will not serve thy gods, nor worship the golden image which thou hast set up. Then was Nebuchadnezzar full of fury, and the form of his visage was changed against against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Therefore he spake and commanded that they should heat the furnace, one seven times more than it was wont to be eaten. And he commanded the most mighty men that were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and to cast them into the burning fiery furnace. 
Then these men were bound in their coats, their hosen, and their hats, and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fire furnace. Therefore, because the king's commandment was urgent, and the furnace exceeding hot, the flame of the fire slew those men that took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down into the midst, fell down bone into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Then Nebuchadnezzar the king was astonished, and rose up in east and speak, and said unto his counsellors, Did not we cast three men bound into the midst of the fire? They answered and said unto the king, True, O king. He answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt, and the form of the fourth is like the Son of God. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the mouth of the burning fiery furnace, and spake and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, ye servants of the Most High God, come forth and come hither. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came forth of the midst of the fire. And the princes, governors, and captains, and the king's counselors, being gathered together, saw these men, upon whose body the fire had no power, nor was an air on their of their head singed. Neither were their coats changed, nor the smell of fire had passed on them. Then Nebuchadnezzar spake and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who hath sent his angel, and delivered his servants that trusted in him, and have changed the king's word, and yielded their bodies, that they might not serve nor worship any god except their own god. Therefore I make a decree that every people, nation, and language which speak anything amiss, amiss against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces, and their houses shall be made a dunghill, because there is no other god that can deliver after this sort. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Alright guys, so we all know this story, right? And through knowing this story, we see that God is indeed able to bring us through any situation. And what I want to highlight in this is what I want you to take from this scripture is the fact that they were in they were placed in a fiery furnace heated passing the limit which they would normally have that furnace heated and Shadrach Meshach and Abednego were not harmed not a hair on their body was singed the the smell of smoke which you know the smell of fire which you know you cannot get rid of it's evident once you go near open flames where there's smoke that you have been near such because you smell it and there was no no sense of that either on them because the lord kept them and the lord sustained them that is to show you that no matter what situation you may be in how heated you think the battle may be the lord is able to bring you through that battle the lord is able to bring you through that situation there's nothing too hard no matter how hot the bat the heat may seem from the flames that are around you no matter how heated it may look to you the appearance may look to you the lord will keep you and sustain you through it so you will come out unsinged just as Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out of the fiery furnace. And you will indeed prove that our God, the Lord God of Israel, the Lord God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the Lord God, our deliverer, the Lord God, our counselor, our keeper, our guide, is indeed the one and only true God. Right? So just continue to trust him to bring you through whatever you're going through. No matter how hard it seems, he's able to keep you and sustain you and bring you out in one piece.
in the light manner that you went in so guys just think on that and continue to walk in your salvation and if you've not regained it then seek it there's no better time to begin than the present have yourselves a blessed day bye